Hi again, everyone. Chris Tisdale here again. Thanks for tuning in. In this presentation, I'm going to continue my series of videos on calculus, and in particular, we're going to talk about functions and the absolute value of a function and how to get its graph. So, in the previous video, I talked about what the absolute function, uh, absolute value is. It's got to do with distance. In this video, I'm going to do another example involving a cubic uh, um, function where we're given a cubic function and then asked to sketch the absolute value of that cubic function. So let, let's have a look at the, uh, at the example. So here we've got, say, a function. It's factored into um, a nice, lovely little linear factor form. That's good because it tells us um, something about how we can uh, sketch the graph of that function straight away. And then we're given the same function just with absolute values. The first thing we're asked to do is to sketch the graph of the original function and hence sketch the graph of the absolute value function. So from this graph, sketch this graph. That's what it's really asking you to do. So how do we do it? Well, let's draw the sketch of this graph first. You can see that um, it's, if you expand these brackets, you're going to get a positive x cubed. Okay, So it'll look a bit like, uh, it'll, it'll be like a, an, uh, the graph of x cubed sort of pushed and pulled a little bit, but essentially the same. So let's um, draw some axes in and see, where, see um, how it goes. All right. Now, from this nice factored form, we know where the curve cuts the x-axis, the x-intercepts, right? It'll cut when this is 0, when this is 0, and when this is 0. So the points where the graph cuts the x-axis are negative 1, positive 2, and positive 5. Okay? So... Negative 1, positive 2, and positive 5. Okay, and it'll look something like this. It'll sort of go, it'll start down here, and it'll go sort of up here, come back down, and straight up again. Okay, it's a nice smooth curve. All right, so... Let's actually, oh, one, one other thing. What is the y-intercept? Well, the place where the, the curve cuts the y-axis is when x equals 0. So it's 1 times negative 2 times negative 5. So that's positive 10. So I won't do this to, to scale, but there'll be a positive 10 up here. Okay, so let's sort of join all these points together, see what we can do. Okay, and it might look something like that. Okay, so this is the graph of this function here. Okay, so what what we do to sketch the graph of the absolute function is basically you just reflect everything that lies below the x-axis so that it lies above the x-axis. Okay, because absolute value cannot be negative. So if you look here, this bit's below the x horizontal x-axis, this bit's below the horizontal x-axis, so that'll have to come up here, and that'll have to come up here, and the rest of the graph will stay the same. Okay, so let's see if I can um, squish that in, say, oh, actually, I'll put it down here. Okay, so... Okay, so this bit and this bit stay the same. This has got to get pushed up, and this has got to get pushed up. So let's see if I can do that. So I'll just... draw these bits in first. 
and then I'll flip this up so it'll look something like um, like this and this bit will come up too. Okay, so that's not an exact graph, but um, it's good enough for this question. Okay, so just to recap here, if you're given a function and you're asked to sketch the graph of the absolute value of that function, start with the original function first. Sketch that, find the x and y intercepts and what its sort of general nature is. Then see where are all the points below the x-axis and flip them so um, so you get the uh, the um, the points are above the x-axis. Let me just put that up so it's curving up. Okay. All right, guys. Not a difficult problem, but um, just one that is you can step uh, solve step by step, but also. The method works for lots of different kinds of problems. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any comments, any questions, I'd love to hear them. Uh, see you again soon for another video. Bye.